Hi, today I'm going to show you how I clean this lime scale and dirt fill sterilizer and turn it into an almost brand new looking thing. I'm going to show you how and which products that I use, so stick around till the end of the video and you'll see how I do it. So today's product is going to be the Star Drops White Vinegar Spray. So um, this product has been in use in my household for some time and as you can see it's almost close to empty. Um, so I love this product so much because I use it on so many things around my house um, and it's a multi-purpose laundry stain removal effective online scale um, yeah so purchase this um, I use it quite a lot for for so many things around my property well should I say around my house but um, yeah so at the back again it gives you the instructions on how to use um, so star drops white vinegar spray you use on windows mirrors yeah but this uh, I'm going to show you the main things that I use this product for so this is my little baby's um, onesie um, and, and all I'm just gonna do is grab my star drops white vinegar spray and I'm gonna turn it to the side to spray so I'm just gonna Right onto the... As you can see, this is what it looks like when it's working. It just bubbles. Um, and yeah, it does have a little smell of vinegar, but it's not really strong. It's quite bearable. Um, I tend to use this for laundry, and you can see at the back of the star drops, it tells you for laundry stain removal. Spray directly onto the stain and allow about 30 minutes. So yeah, I tend to wait 30 minutes and then chuck it into the washing machine. But I will show you how it looks like before I check into the washing machine. This is the stain right now. So, yep. So now I'm gonna look into the sterilizer. So the baby sterilizer itself, the buildup as you can see of lime scale does sometimes come out and it's looking a bit brown. Um, I think because we live in a really hard water area, it does tend to need a clean so again, I'm going to use my Star Drops white vinegar spray and I normally spray straight onto a cloth and I'm going to show you right now, just spray it onto the cloth and then wipe it onto the affected area which has got the lime scale. So you should normally do this every week because, you know, think about it, it goes onto your baby's bottles and you don't want your baby drinking lime scale filled bottles so clean your sterilizer every week <laughs> but yeah as you can see I've wiped it away um, and this is what it looks like on the inside it's really really filled with lime scale so I'm just gonna take the spray and I'm gonna just spray it directly into the affected area in the around it most of it is just hard water but the center is definitely filled with lime scale as you can see um, the white spray it starts to fizz up a bit as you can see and and allow a few minutes so sometimes depending on how hard the water is that week uh, I tend to allow maybe 10 15 minutes so yeah And then now I'm going to show you how I use it on my kettle. So the kettle also does get filled with grease because it's right next to my cooker. So if you can see the areas around the base of the kettle and around the nozzle, they are really bad. Um, so grease, any grease form can be removed, I suppose. <laughs> any grease can be removed using the vinegar so I do this every week as well so basically you just take the spray and spray it all over the kettle and get your cloth it's a microfiber cloth and you just wipe it just give it a quick whiz around yep honestly I, I tend to find because I spray <laughs> I mean I cook quite a lot so it's not always all my top priority things to do, but 
you should always do this because like especially because it's a silver looking kettle so I tried to get it cleaned up as much as I can as you can see it also adds a little bit of shine and if you're not really satisfied with the amount of grease it's removed you can always spray a bit more white vinegar spray and it removes the rest so just do spray as much as you want so my utensil holder I normally put all my utensils here when I finish washing up and yeah as you can see I use the white vinegar spray on it especially because lime scale does tend to build up inside um, again we live in a hard water area so yeah I tend to need to clean this quite a lot so I tend to do the inside a lot more and I tend to forget the outside so today I'm going to show you how I clean it um, as you can see a spray inside and spray on the outside um, I use a microfiber cloth best thing to use um, to remove all the lime scale and all the dirt um, yeah so I tried to do this as often as I can remember and I get a toothbrush because it's the best thing to use you should always use a toothbrush especially for hard stains so I get the toothbrush as you can see I've got like a little difficult stain there and I use the microfiber cloth as well and it removes all the grease all the dirt and it leaves a really nice shiny streak I suppose <laughs> and you can see this is the base where I honestly I always forget to do so I get in there with my toothbrush and yeah just any old toothbrush or unused toothbrush please use an unused toothbrush you don't want to use a used toothbrush so a new toothbrush get in there and use it to clean around yeah I use it for around the house as well so it's one of my favorite um, things to do so toothbrush and microfiber cloth perfect combination so on the inside as well I get the toothbrush in and the microfiber cloth and yeah just go in there how many of you have used a toothbrush to clean before let me know in the comment section below and if you use it all the time you've got a section for your cleaning products you have a toothbrush so let me know I'm not the only one who has one so yep the spray really does work really well with quite a lot of things and this is like my top three things that I use it for around the house um, there's other things that you could use it on you can use it on windows or mirrors but these are my first things that I tend to grab it and go to and yep switches so there's a switch right next to my cooker and that is always really greasy um, don't spray directly onto the switch because you don't want to damage any electric circuits so spray directly onto a cloth and I turn it off as you can see um, so yeah just spray onto the cloth and just hopefully that will remove the grease that's around it but sometimes you might need a little bit more help so I spray it maybe twice or three times onto that cloth and if that does not work I get my trusted toothbrush and that normally works really well um, I think you can also see right above um, the tile there it also looks like it could use a little bit more of TLC with the vinegar spray so I would get my toothbrush <coughs> normally as many times as you possibly can get it so that it can you know remove all the grease it's a really great product to remove grease even on the cooker the cooker hood and it's I really really love this um, white vinegar I've never tried it on dishwashers before but I hear it's really really great so honestly try it out let me know how you have found using this spray it's great for tiles it's great for work surfaces windows mirrors and um, yeah this is what it looks like after I clean now back to baby laundry um, I'm not quite satisfied with the stain removal so I'm gonna spray it again a few more times and then leave it again for maybe another five minutes um, back to the baby sterilizer again get my toothbrush and just really work those areas which have got the dirt and the lime scale um, it's really really great um, the toothbrush and then I use my microfiber cloth and just wipe all the excess dirt off um, I really 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 recommend you do this maybe twice a week or as often as you possibly can because it's baby related and you don't want your baby bottles to be filled with lime scale 
and all the dirt because we live in a really hard water area so I found myself doing this at least twice or three times during the week um, <clears throat> so yeah microfiber cloth toothbrush they are my two you know weapons of choice and they work really really well together and yeah you just wipe it and go so I definitely highly recommend that you use the you know white vinegar spray it's great to have around the house now back to my onesie um, as you can see um, the stain is no longer as bright um, it looks you know a lot better um, and I really really highly recommend to use it on baby stained clothes because you don't like to use too many harsh chemicals so um, this is what it would look like after I would have put it through the washing machine all the stains would have been removed so I highly recommend it for laundry and this is what it looks like on my kettle my kettle now looks shiny and you know all the grease has been removed around the areas that you know were highly affected by the grease um, the vinegar works really well it makes everything look really shiny and almost brand new it does not eat up anything or you know remove yeah it's just really great <laughs> so honestly buy it um, you can buy it from Asda all the shops that you you know you purchase all your stuff from you can even try it on Amazon so I highly recommend this product um, have it around your house honestly and um, works really well for other parts of the house not just mirrors not just laundry but check it out and let me know what you guys use it for um, I have been using it for some time and I'm so happy that I got to show you guys so please leave a comment down below let me know what you use it for subscribe to the channel and for more videos about um, cleaning and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys on my next video bye